Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I want to share with you how I put together the corsage that I made, the paper corsage that I made using the Scrap Diva Designs, uh, the edge flower and uh, the capsular leaves. And I also use uh, the pearl spray out of the tulip set. So I'll link those in the description box. Those will be affiliate links. If you were to purchase items with those links, I would make a small commission. Uh, but I want to share with you that if you have them or if you want to make this corsage, you don't have them, but you want to get them and to make create these corsages, uh, I want to show you how I did it. In my previous video, uh, when I shared this corsage, I showed, I did a short tutorial on how to make the flowers. So I'm not going to do that today because I already did it. I will link that video in the description box below. And that way you guys can learn how to make the flowers. Now you can all add your personal touches to it. So it's not going to be exactly like this one. Because we all have different things that we create with. I'm just giving you a basic idea on how I put mine together. So hopefully this will help you. I start out by creating a rosebud. Then I do like a medium size rose. And then I do, well, this is the medium one. And then I do a fuller rose. And I already shared that in the previous video on how I did that. And then I cut out the capsular leaves. In this case, I cut them out in a very dark green because rose leaves are very dark. And I cut them out in gold. And I'm going to show with share with you how I put these together. I cut two, and she gives you a right and a left, which can also be back and a front. So you put them back to back. Because my paper is single-sided, and I wanted it to be sturdy, I cut the... I did two, and I glued them together at the thickest area, right down to about right there. And I left myself a little piece that is not glued. You can see where it's open. Because for that, that's where I'm going to insert my wire. So all I do is I grab one of my little flower wires. And those are linked in my previous video where I shared this. So I'm going to put all those links there for you. That way you guys can click on them. The, the wires do come in white and they come in green. So even the tape and everything that I use does come in like a brown, a different shades of green and white. So you know, that it, they're available in different colors. For this particular one, I'm using green. So with my hot glue gun, I just add a dab of glue or some glue. It doesn't matter because I'm going to cover that up. In between the two layers, I add my wire to it in the center of the stem and just hold it closed uh, for it to for it to cool down. And there is my stem. Now, it doesn't look very clean right now, but that's okay because we're going to wrap the floral wire, I mean tape, around it. So that's how I create these. I did them all double-sided, glued them back to back, and then I inserted a wire in between the two layers with hot glue. So I'm done with that. Uh, I don't think I need my hot glue gun, but I'm going to leave it on anyway. So to create uh, the, the flowers, I took, I have one started here. I took the larger of the capsular leaves. There's one that has three branches. And uh, then I took the a pearl spray that I had. If you don't have a pearl spray, that, uh, if you don't have any pearl sprays, but you have gems, or you want to add a certain gem, this little one right here has three little uh, stems or spray or I'm going to call them stems, but to me, this is like a pearl spray, and I added flat back pearls to it, and I'll share with you where that one came from. Um, that one came from the, from the Tulip, from the Tulip Mini Album guy. Um, it's this one right here that I used. And see how it has the dots? So I was able 
to add uh, flat back pearls there so any gems that you have will work even if you don't have pearl sprays in this case I didn't use them but in the previous one I did and then here you have a little dragonfly a little butterfly and I used a butterfly on my previous one I'm, I'm not using any here but you know it's up to you this is very uh, useful because you can use the elements are small enough that they'll work with this corsage so that is the tulip mini album and then the the flowers are the edge flowers and the leaves are the capsula leaves so all that will be in the description box now to create these bundles um my first layer is the large see how it's got three branches now this one's not done so i'm going to share with you how what i do after i add the the glue i mean the the wire to it I will get my tape and this is floral tape I'm going to show you what it looks like it and it comes in different shades now I cut it down the middle I cut a piece off and that piece I cut it down the center to make it more narrow that way my my corsage won't be too bulky and all you do is you you stretch it and that activates the tackiness on there and all I have to do, or all you have to do, is wrap it tightly around your little branch or your flower. Because I did that with every stem. I wrapped the, the floral tape to it. You know, keeping a little bit of tension on it. And, um, and it kind of sticks to itself. It's not real, real tacky, but it will stick to itself. So you want to do this with every rose, every uh, every branch, everything that you use. Like I haven't even done it on here and didn't even realize I hadn't done it. So you're going to see me repeat that because I needed to do it on all of them. On the roses, you want to start way at the bottom of the cone. Keep it nice and tight. And then wrap all the way down. And it's pretty fast. It doesn't take a long time to do it so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this all the way down so I'm going to take the largest of the capsule leaves and another piece of tape because I'm gonna make myself little bundles so I did this and then I added my pearl spray right up almost to the top see where it's at and I started my tape right underneath where my wire is where that wider area of the capsule leaf, leaf is and now i'm going to add my little rosebud and i'm putting that pretty high up see how high it is it's about an inch below that center pearl and and i'm going to wrap it and that makes my very first bundle and you're going to put these in bundles and then you're going to uh, put them together to create a corsage so there's my very first bundle so I have two of those here's the other one because uh, you can make boutonnieres out of these or you can make a uh, single uh, stem corsages or you can do the double one like I did here that I added one to the bottom one to the bottom and one to the top and a ribbon in between so you know it depends on how big or how elaborate you want to make them okay for my second flower i took which one's my second one this one for my second i took the second largest rose and i already and previously explained how i did that and then i took a gold stem and a green stem and where's so I already have mine wrapped up and as you can see they're going in opposite directions so on one of them I have the gold going that way on the other one I have it going that way but I wrapped the gold and then the rose and lower down I did the green the one branch because you get some that are single branches so that's what I did there so these go there now for the largest one we're going to do the same thing so I have the gold going this way so my next gold piece is going to go in the opposite direction let me grab a piece of tape I'm gonna stretch it and I'm gonna start directly on this again and I want it to be pointing in the opposite direction 
of what this one is doing. And now I'm going to add my rose and I'm going to add it a little low. And then I'm going to continue wrapping. And now I'm going to take a green one and I'm going to point it in the opposite direction that this one is going. So this one goes here and this one is going to go just a little lower down here. And I'm going to start wrapping them. And that's why you split the tape in half because if I was to use the thickness of the tape and keep wrapping the way I'm doing, you have several layers on there, then your uh, bundles would be really, really bulky and you don't want that. So there is my last one. This one will go there. And let me wrap this rose. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Going by what I'm doing here, I'm gonna do uh, point the capsule leaves in the opposite directions. And this one wasn't wrapped, so I have to wrap it. But as you can see, it's pretty fast. I'm just, you know, holding on to the tape, you know, a little pressure and twisting it. Okay, so here is another piece. So we're going to do the one that goes here. So that means that our gold one, because this one is going that way, we're going to go this way with this one. So I'm going to start wrapping it again. And I'm just going to stop there and see how I have it facing that way now I'm going to add my rose and I'm gonna wrap both branches together give it a few uh, turns and then now I'm going to add my green one facing the opposite direction but a little bit lower than the uh, gold one I'm getting hungry guys my tummy's making noises he's hungry I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat till 12, but time kind of got away from me today. So see how you? I have one gold going this way and one going that way. Same thing. So I'm doing two, but facing opposite directions, except for that center uh, branch. And now we're going to combine them, all of them together. So cut yourself a longer piece of tape. Let me grab my scissors. And when I say I split it down the middle, it means I cut it. To make it a narrow strip this is not gonna gum up your scissors oh come on or anything like that it's not uh, sticky like that but I want to go up the whole center um, cutting it about half you know if I'm a little off it's okay it doesn't hurt anything so I need two of them one for each side so I'm going to again stretch this to activate the tackiness on on the tape and I'm going to grab my first one and I'm going to start wrapping it again. See what I mean about how the tape can build up. And if you're using uh, the whole width of the tape, it can get very bulky. So now I'm going to just gave it a couple of turns and I'm going to add the second one in place. Let me see, is that the correct one? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to add the second one right under the rosebud and now I'm going to wrap both little bundles together. I'm going to give it a couple of turns. And I think right here, I want to add another of my pearl sprays. Uh, so I'm going to add this gold one here. So I'm going to add it there, but I'm also going to add the last, um, my little last uh, rose here. And these you can they are, they're on wire, so I'll be able to see how those two were touching. I'm able to turn them or turn it because it's on wire. Now I'm going to wrap the whole thing, the pearl spray that I just added, plus the little bundle. And I'm going to keep going all the way down. Now we are going to trim this because this is a little long. And when you start adding your roses... Not necessarily your roses, but like your capsule leaves to the wire. You can, you use a six inch wire. You can cut that wire in half. So you have two uh, little three inch sections and you can add the capsule leaves to that. And that's plenty long. What I do give more uh, length on the wire is the roses because those got a stagger and I'm not sure where they're going to hit. So here is the first section of that corsage 
and because everything's on wire you can arrange it however you want so let's start with the second one and that way you can see me do that again and sometimes you know we got to see something more than once here's my one bundle I'm going to start wrapping it I'm just going to give it a couple of turns and then I'm going to add the second largest rows so compare them make sure you got your second and I'm going to just move it up right underneath that bud and I'm going to wrap that bun those two bundles together now I'm going to add the pearl again here's my pearl spray I'm going to add it again and you can actually get the bottom of this pearl spray and give it a couple twists on there so there's the pearl spray and now I'm going to add the last rose right up underneath that one see how they're touching remember I said they have wire and we can move them around shift them around if we need to and everything is on wire so now we're going to wrap everything the pearl spray that we just added plus the, the rose and I'm gonna wrap all the way down I still have glue um, little webs on here that I need to take my heat gun and just uh, you know use my heat gun on it and those will disappear so there you go you have your two little corsages if I wanted to make this into a larger corsage I would flip one upside down and I would gather them as close together as possible like this and then I would uh, then I can you know um, arrange them the way I need to but of course you would have to trim this so I would just take a pair of wire cutters or you know your little trimmers that we use for our dies and trim that off and that's that's garbage you don't need that and I would do the same to this because you don't want them real, real long. So you do want to cut them. So I'm going to cut mine off right there. <laughs> I'm going to cut them off right there. And let me get rid of this. I, I like the silicone mat, but the only thing is that it stains... And it doesn't come clean and it's white and I don't like the way it looks dirty like that. I, I did try to wipe it, but oh well. So now I'm going to take these two and then I'm just kind of kind of nudge them in together, snuggle them up. And then you can see, I'll show you the back, how it's crisscrossed. Now here you could either get some tape, uh, floral tape. There's a different type of floral tape. That's more like tape tape and it's very tacky, but it's narrow and you could uh, tape these together. Normally, I try to twist them together a little bit, but right here, I wouldn't have very much room to do that. And in fact, I would have to trim these shorter because they don't need to stick out as much as they do. So let's do that. Let's trim them a little bit more. But because everything's taped in bundles, you don't really, uh, they don't really separate. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to trim it down some. And hopefully, this will be better. I saw Hubby peeking through my door. I think he's getting hungry too. <laughs> I know I am. So there. I trim that down so now I can uh, put these two together and I'm going to try and see if I can no I can't twist them at all see how you can twist this but I don't think I would be able to tuck it in neatly see that I wouldn't be able to tuck it in neatly to the other so I'm just gonna kind of entwine them see how this one is going underneath and this one is going over so i'm just going to entwine them like that for now again you can tape them there is tape for this and now when you get to this point i want them a little bit closer than what they are like i want them really really close now right here i can start moving 
this ro ro the roses and arranging everything because like I said everything is on wire so you could definitely rearrange everything you have going on there and you could add a little butterfly or something to it um, or you could add a bow this one is actually maybe too large because my flowers are really close together and let's see let's see if I can arrange that yeah I don't like the way that looks I don't like the way that looks on the other one what I did do one of these only had two flowers so it was minus one and that's why I had room to add my bow where I where I was able to add it because I left out one of the roses but even like this and you could add some type of sheer bow to it that would still look pretty it's just a difficult spot You could add some kind of sheer ribbon to it, and that would look pretty too. Uh, but I recommend that if you're going to do this, do leave out one of the flowers. That way you have more room for your bow, and it's not buried underneath uh, your roses. But again, this is how I created the other one. I love the way the sheer ribbon looks. And that's what I used on my, my other one, the sheer ribbon. But you would, like I said, have to... Uh, take this together or glue it together uh, so it does not come apart. I would not use glue. I would actually either, if I didn't have the tape that I'm talking about, uh, because I didn't, and I wrapped white narrow ribbon, uh, satin ribbon around it and was gluing it in place. And I, you know, wherever I could get in, but I don't want to share this because, or show you, this, demonstrate it because the video would be too long. But what I did was I glued it, then I started just weaving it through underneath the two branches and gluing it in place. So my other one, that's how my other one is put together. But after you get it that way, then you're able to um, arrange, arrange your... Um, your corsage but I mean you they can depending on how you how far out you want them to stick and all of it is on wire so like I said you can rearrange I can move this rose around I can move that rose I can move this one because everything is on wire but that's how simple it is to make a corsage I hope that this helps you I will list uh, Scrap Diva's uh, dies that I used to create this in the description box, plus some of her other ones. And remember, those are affiliate links. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great day and God bless. Bye.